So today we're making chicken pot pie. It's a family favorite. Mm -hmm. And you might think it's kind of a strange fit for the pressure cooker because of, uh, you know, it, not going to have an oven to bake the pie, but let me tell you, this is by far my favorite way to make chicken pot pie now, and I almost never make it the traditional way. I'm Barbara. And I'm Jen. And we're from Pressure Cooking today. So we've preheated our pressure cooker on the saute setting, and we'll go ahead and add the butter. Um, we're going to start by making the roux, uh -huh. which is a thickener. Yeah, it's, it's, it's where like that creamy, saucy goodness comes from. So we um, melt the butter down until it's all nice and melted and then we add the flour and we stir it and we uh, just continue stirring it until the it kind of the flour will cook it with the butter and then when you add the um, milk it kind of makes a nice cream sauce that gets mm -hmm. really thick and then we'll set that aside and we'll make the rest of the ingredients yep. Uh, this is um, on our website. We've got it written so you can either make the roux in like a saucepan on the stove top or you can make it in your Instant Pot. Um, what we wanted to show you what it looked like in your Instant Pot and it's one less um, pot to clean. Pot to clean. So we're sauteing this at kind of a lower setting. Um, if your Instant Pot or pressure cooker has the ability to adjust the saute mode, um, we'd be doing this at either normal or like a level three or a level four on other models. This is the Instant Pot Duo Plus Whisper Quiet. Um, and so we've got it adjusted to a level three right here. Okay, so it looks like our butter is melted. Let's go ahead and add the flour. Mm -hmm. Just scatter it around in there. Is that good enough? Do you want me to? Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. And then we'll just stir it till that flour absorbs the butter. You want all the flour to have some butter on it. And then you want it to start bubbling. And it's it's really cool to watch as it happens. It goes from having like little flour clumps to, to just really smoothing out. And then this roux is a real like basic foundational cooking um, technique. Uh, I know in like the deep south they get their roux so it's really dark, dark for like a... Right, for when they're doing their gumbos and mm -hmm. stuff, they want a really dark, flavorful roux. But we, we don't want a dark one for our chicken pot pot. See how it's bubbling there? That's just what you want. Now you're going to add the milk gradually, so go ahead and just add a little bit. We've got just a half a cup and see it's going to just absorb that quickly, so go ahead and add some more as it absorbs it. Oh, probably could use a whisk for this, oh, would yeah. be a better choice. You just don't want it to burn, go ahead and whisk it in. All right. He's a taller. Let me do it. I'm more in front of it. <laughs> All right, and now you can add a little bit more milk if it seems like it needs it, if it's not smooth enough. But this looks like it's coming together nice and smooth. So that's all there is to it. We're going to take that out and put it aside and continue with the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so now we're going to start the filling. We've melted a tablespoon of butter. We're going to add our celery and onion and get those softening. When you uh, saute the onion, it loses a little bit of the bitterness and it has a nice little sweeter flavor to it. Yeah. All right, so our onions are tender. We added a half a cup of chicken broth. Yep. Mm -hmm. We've got our, add our chicken back in. And we've got our potatoes. I used the little new potatoes from Costco today, so I didn't peel them, but if you use russets, then you may want to peel them. We, my family, we like to make them peeled, and we like them in little tiny cubes, like less, less than an inch. Um, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of thyme. All right, I'll just give that a stir, and then we'll lock the lid in place. Um, and the reason why we only used half a cup of chicken broth here is that the chicken will release quite a bit of moisture as it cooks. 
And we've designed it so that when this is done cooking, the liquid in the pot combines together with the roux to make that nice cream sauce. And so. Right, and after you add your roux, that's a good time to adjust the thickness of your sauce. Yeah. So we'll just lock that lid in place. And then we've got a three minute cook time with a quick pressure release. Yeah. Okay, so this right here is why I prefer making the uh, chicken pot pie with my Instant Pot. Um, we are going to just use a little cookie cutter to cut out some crust pieces. Um, my mom has a wonderful pie crust recipe that is included with the recipe, um, but uh, when you're in a hurry and you want to make this for a weeknight, uh, refrigerated pie crusts are my go-to. Um, make sure that you get them out to thaw about 15 minutes before you're ready to cut them. And this way, while the chicken pot pie filling is coming to pressure, you can get your crust all ready to go. We roll it out and then we'll bake it in the oven all separate just on a, a cookie sheet. And then um, every bit of the crust is that cr crunchy, flaky yumminess as opposed to like... Right. So if you wanted, you could grab a pie uh, plate mm -hmm. and just put your filling in. We don't do a bottom crust. I nope. just like a single crust because I think you get a lot more crispy crust and the bottom crust tends to get more soggy so mm -hmm. I prefer to do it single. But you would just put your filling in and then put this on top. But Jen likes to do individual crusts for her family. And that way everybody gets the right amount of crust. So we're going to use this fun little ruffled cutter. You just press down. And then we just... We're just going to set them right there okay. for now. And then we, you will bake these in the oven. Yep. These do not go in the pressure cooker. No. But you can do this while the filling is cooking instead of having to cook the filling first and then transfer it to the pie crust and then begin to cook your chicken pot pie. Um, you can have it all just ready to go. So about the time the filling is done is about the time that these little uh, pie crust bites are done too. Um, on the packaging it says that it cooks for 10 to 12 minutes, but in my experience since these are much smaller pieces, they're, they're ready well before the 10 to 12 minutes is up. And you see how you have a little crispy um, Bake those extras. up too. Yeah. Yes. My grandson came over and was helping me make chicken pot pie the other night and he put these on a tray and put them in the oven and they enjoyed those. Uh, we can never get enough crust and so this... Sometimes um, I'll put cinnamon and sugar on them for just a little sweet treat. Do you really? <laughs> Okay, there they are. They're ready for the oven. Yeah, um, so you'll just want to keep an eye on them. Um, they'll start to kind of bubble up a little bit and they'll start to brown. It seems like when they go, when they brown, they go pretty quick. And so you just kind of want to make sure that you're there to catch that moment. Okay, so that short time is up. Take the lid off and give it a nice stir. really great. Let's go ahead and add those peas and carrots. I also like to add a little bit of parsley. You can use fresh or dried, whichever you have on hand. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add our roux in. Now that's our thickener. It's going to melt really quickly and nicely into that hot liquid. So we'll go ahead and add the saute, or press the saute button and bring it back to a boil. Okay, you just want to bring it to a boil so that you know that thickener has activated and it's nicely melted. Even. But you can see already it's turned that really lovely, light, creamy sauce color that you associate with chicken pot pie. So we, with using the roux, you don't have to add any cream to get that nice creamy texture that everybody loves. Um, but yeah, it's thickening up nicely. Okay. So the sauce is thickened up, it's nice and creamy. 
Um, that's just about what you want. It's, it'll thicken even more as it cools. Mm -hmm. um, if your sauce is a little thicker than that, go ahead and add some more chicken broth or milk. Okay. Either one would be great. And if you are, you know, cooking for two and um, know that you're going to have leftovers, keep in mind that you'll likely need to add some chicken broth tomorrow when you um, go to reheat this. So we're going to go ahead and dish it up. When we eat it at home, I'll often put it in little bowls um, just to help keep the uh, food from spreading. Is that good? It looks great. So there it is. Chicken pot pie, homemade. Tastes so much better than store-bought. It's super yummy. So um, if you make it, please leave us a comment. Let us know how it goes. If you have questions, we'd love to answer them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And be sure and like and subscribe.